I'm here to share a journal swap with you. This is, I'm swapping with Took's Craft Table. And uh, this is the first time anyone's ever asked me to do a journal swap, so I'm very excited about that. We decided to do a soft cover journal. So uh, I, so that's what we're doing. Let's, uh, where's my ruler here? So this, this journal I made for her is, let's see, it's about a little bit less than eight, about eight and a half by, it's like the normal size, a little bit smaller on the lengthwise, and this is six and a half, so it has three signatures, one, two, three, and I forget how many pages, I think there's like I don't know, there might be 10 or 11 pages in each signature, so. Uh, anyway, this is from an old quilt. My mom had this old quilt that she had purchased, I think, one of the shopping channels online in the 80s. And it was starting to fall apart. It's a really cute quilt. I mean, it had it's all was all hand sewed, except for this stuff looks um, machine sewn. But all the quilting part was all hand sewn. It was supposedly a limited edition of... Uh, was number 113 of 5,000. So, uh, but I've been wanting to cut it up and make journals out of it anyway, so this gave me an excuse. And uh, so this is it. Uh, whoa, man, I really like how it feels. I like everything about it. Uh, took one, it, she likes uh, more, you know, she likes um, architecture and art. I thought, Quilts are art, and so I hope she'll like this. She also likes blue and white, but I couldn't, I didn't really have blue and white quilts. So, but there is blue in here and white. I also had watched uh, Rachel at Roxy Creations, and she had done a, uh, someone else she follows, and I forget her name, but uh, she was doing slow stitching is what it's called. And so I decided to go ahead and do it. So I took a scrap of the fabric. So it goes from about, if you can see, make sure I'm in frame. It's hard because it's pretty close, as I'm noticing. The scrap was about from here to here. And then I add, you add other fabric on top of it. And then you, and it goes from here to here. I didn't want to cover up much of, you know, I didn't want to make it even. I didn't want to cover up, I covered up a little bit of the handle, but, you know. So then I just sew, then what you do is you, all the little pieces of fabric you sew on and then you do different stitches over it. It's like embroidery, but now the name for it is slow stitching. <laughs> and so, you know, I just did that and then I hand stitched it on. Um, I did this here and I even put some, of, I happen to have, I put sequins on with beads. And uh, I don't know, I like how it turned out. In fact, you can't really even tell if you look really close, you can tell that I've hand stitched it together, but it looks like it's all part of it. And so I sewed it over the spine. This is just a piece of, um, that's trash. This is just a piece of lace or uh, crocheted. I never know if it's crocheted lace or something else, if it's called something else, but crocheted bit here with some vintage glass beads. This is olive wood bead. And then, some, then just other beads that I really like that are, I have like one, I don't have a lot of them, one of a kind type things. Okay, so here we go. On the front, so here's the front. We talked about the size, the size already. I put one of my sterling silver, she can wear it for a necklace or what have you, but sterling silver um, charm that's a T. So I put that there. I In the inside, it's, it's, um, it's, lined with a piece of crocheted fabric or crocheted bit that was this long pretty much exactly and then it had this little bit here that folded over so I just sewed it on there it was pretty cool because then I thought oh I can use this for the closure of it so that's what I did when I put three buttons and this this button here is called a perfume button so you can see that and it looks very uh what's it called it's gone out of my mind. Art Nouveau. <laughs> there it is. It looks very Art Nouveau. Uh, but they were famous in the Civil War where uh, ladies would give them to their soldiers and put their perfume on them and sew them in their uniforms. And then they would um, 
remember them. So I put a little note about that on the inside too. But so this is the cover. I'm so excited about it. Look at all the drippies and stuff. I didn't go to make boho, but then I kind of turned out that way because I think it's just my sort of my style of what I like. Okay, so here we go. Let's make sure I'm sort of in the center. It's really hard, you know. I do this on my phone. I haven't got that great at editing or any of that or any of that. So, you know, have to bear with me. Okay, so inside, like I said, this is that big piece of crocheted, uh, crocheted piece. Uh, she likes, like I said, art and architecture and old things, all different kinds of papers. So this was part of a farmer, farmer's almanac. I loved all the pictures here. It was so broken. I mean, it was split in half, so I put some of the vintage style tape we like to make, and I taped it. And then on the back, I just put some uh, tea dyed paper, some lines, and uh, put one of these. <laughs> I've been having so much fun with doing watercolors. This is watercolor here. And then this is from a book page. It's the Trees of California. And underneath it says the coast of California is foresty. I put that because I'm from California. My, the coast, I'm in the central, so I'm not really at the coast. But the coast is um, just an hour away. If you go uh, west, I guess it is. Duh. Then around the bottom, I just tied on beads that I like. So these are vintage glass, milk glass beads, probably the 40s or so. And the same thing with this is just this one has a little bit of a pink tone to it. And then we have a abalone shell, a hand carved abalone shell button. And down here, I just put some more vintage glass uh, leaf and some more of the milk glass. And then this is a this is a uh, like sea glass that they've carved on it and so it's because it's yellow i wanted to use a different i only have a few of these left and yellow is one of them you can't really tell but it has like you know it has etched in here this the sand dollar stuff you know how it looks so it's right there on the inside pocket here is uh, this is a little uh this is the little the little explanation of the button that's on the top took so just says what what I told you already and I just have it stuck in here and I just put it sort of cattywampus is that a word I don't want, let's do it like this cattywampus like that oh there there we go that's how I want it <laughs> like that and I did a dried flower arrangement here stuck that back here like this and then this is Mrs. Cog. I'm sure she's seen this, uh, but it's Impressionist. It looks sort of like Monet. Is that who it is? I feel so embarrassed. I don't know these things, but I don't. But she said she liked that that type of thing, so I put it here. Okay. Then I had I did I put tabs on it. And it's just different things that I felt inspired to do. But right here is uh, one of these little uh, lace snippets I've been doing. And I, it's again, Rachel Roxy Creations. I've been watching her. And I just love it with some gypsy beads. I like the sound of, that they make. And then on here, she used some someone else I watched. I can't remember who it was on there. But um, they used a little piece of Super 8 or, or was it Super 8 or the other one before that? What's the other one before Super 8? Eight millimeter, I guess. Um, movie. So I just I bought some. She they she gave the site where she bought it, and I bought some, and I put it on there. I like it. Okay, all this top for first page. I also did some more of the. It's from Rachel again. Her her slow stitching, and uh, this time use paper as a base, and then a little bit of fabric. So then I put my little bird stamp there, and I put some flowers here uh, at the base. I find this very, this was very soothing to do this. She's also doing a thing, a snippet roll that you do the same thing with, and I've been working on that as well. Italian, I don't know. It's from those, this is, you know, like I said before, I've got a huge stack like this thick, like this, of uh, things from the Carnegie Museum here in Hanford. That's closing down. I keep saying that every video. But this is the wash day of the boys' boarding school. And I think it's at, they said San Pedro. Wherever it is. I think it says San Pedro. Anyway. So I thought she would like that. This is one of my vellum pages from the Netherlands. 
I think it's one of my last pages of the avocado diet. I guess I gotta figure out if I wanna do that anymore. I made a little pocket here, and in here is a tag I made. Uh, and <laughs> some more of that stitching. I just can't get enough of that, so that's in here. Uh, this is in, okay, so I got a book of, a, a group of papers from, I bought them from Rachel at Roxy Creation. She, she had some bundles you could buy of old book pages. And some of them were as, from as old as uh, late 1700s. And I have some of that paper in here. Another thing Chick said she liked was different kinds of papers. So um, I made sure to try and have a variety of kinds of papers in here. So this is, I don't know what it is, as you can see, it's Italian, but I liked it because it had architectural type looking on there. So I thought she would like that. And like I said, again, that came out of uh, Roxy Creations bundles of papers. And here's the other side. Um, so I hope she'll like this. This, I was inspired, um, I don't know how, I guess I searched for it, but uh, I don't know. But I was watching that series on PBS called uh, Jamestown. It's like a fictitious, but, and so I don't know why I started searching for stuff. And then I found on Etsy some old or vintage, um, and they're, they're, you know, they're obviously copied, but they look like they've been uh, pencil drawn or ink drawn, whatever that's called, of a, of a typical building there. And so I thought it would be fun to put that in. I really, I figured she can write in it or what have you. It's reproduct of what they believe is um, structure believed to be much like the one built in the co by the colonists in 1608. Today it's used as a uh, glass making demonstration. You know, I would like to go to Jamestown sometime. I don't know if it'll ever happen, but I would like that. And I did. I have a lot of these uh, dangly safety pins because I love them. I love how it looks dripping off, and um, I, guess I think that idea I got from the Treasure Books. Uh, a gal named uh, her her site is on YouTube, Treasure Books, and this is just a letter of somebody from 1949, and I just like how it looked. It's in the background. I don't know what this is. Maybe it's rice paper. I don't know. I found it. I don't know if it was in package. I don't know what it was, but it feels cool. So I put it in here. This was some of Rachel's paper I got. Make sure I'm still in frame. It looks like I am. And I love the writing. Look at that. And it looks like it's from 1881. Um, it's some kind of document. It was very big. So I cut it. And I wanted to make sure I saved these seals that are on here. So they go like here, here, and then they come around to here. And so I just made a pocket out of it. It's in great shape. I don't know what they use, but the paper is not brittle at all, but from 1881. Then I put this little thing in here. Say, oh no, it looks like I'm some kind of check from 1915. I wonder what they were buying in 1915. It was $130. That's kind of a lot, right? It looks Italian too. I don't know. I had it somehow. I thought she would, you would enjoy this took. I made a little side tuck here out of this. I love this book because a lot of the art looks, and that's, look, it's a little architectural. I don't know what it is. It's a house. And then I made a little tag in here with a sparkly bobble. Now this I got in one of Johnny's live sales, and what it was, a teacher's book that, that she, uh, I had the date somewhere. Oh, 1939. And it was the children's names and then their grades over here. So I thought that was cute. Um, I wanted to keep that in here. It was two separate pages. I had to finagle putting it in. I think I glued this page to the back of this page. And uh, that way you could have the spread with the names and the um, grades. That's doesn't like they did to her. It's only one A. Virginia. <laughs> this was kind of fragile, so I, I did my, I, you know, I think it turned out okay. This is uh, Missouri, a map, apparently, of Missouri. So... I don't think I've ever been to Missouri, but I thought it was interesting. The other side of um, that grade paper, there's nothing on that one. Other side of that Italian paper with a nice, cool stamp. That was all on there, by the way. I don't have any of those stamps. I didn't embellish it in any way. Okay. Other side of that letter here. 
other side of, uh, well, this is the, no, it's not the boys' home. This is that other one, architectural picture of something. It'd be funny, you probably know all this stuff because I'm sure you're way smarter than me. <laughs> but other stuff. So over here, my last, some of the last of my avocado dyed paper. I guess I should do more if I still want to do it. I love this. It looks like a marble, doesn't it? Pretty, pretty glass. So, I mean, that's that. I put this in here. It's a really old, uh, let's see, it's a carpet advertisement for a carpet card. But look, it has a little doggy. I know you have your dog. I was hoping, uh, I was going to cover it, and I thought you can write on here. I just thought you would like, like it because it's a little doggy. And here's... Uh, some artwork that was from a book from the same, the Carnegie, a book, I forget what the book was, but it has, um, it was, you know, a pretty door. I thought that was cool. So it can be a journaling card there. Put the little puppy right here, back in here. Other side of the Netherlands paper. Here it is, a San Pedro boys home, laundry day. <laughs> okay, this, this, pad it's I really like this this is called let's see if I can find I got the names of everything over here the this these pads of paper there's two of them let's see where is it someone had uh, referenced it and I thought oh I'm gonna I'm gonna do that it's called okay this one's called the Grand Hotel and it's by uh, Stampira and same thing here I love it. It's just different than some of the Tim Holtz stuff. And then I use another one in here called Oriental Garden. And there were there's Stampira, Stampira, I can't say, it. Uh, paper. If anyone's interested, they're double-sided cardstock, super cool. So uh, here's a. This is an old. I think it's a tag for a, for a laundromat, like laundry when you you know the clean tab on there. But it's a really interesting how it feels. Not sure what it's made of as a random number on it, but I like how it feels. Another pretty pearlized glass bead. See, this is the other side of that paper. Just look. And the front also had, this is what this was here, was that paper here. Okay, this one I think, yeah, this one's the Oriental Garden one right here. This and this, and it's just really cool. I love the paper. This is from the Padded Heart Company, I believe she's called. Padded Heart Company on Etsy. And so I bought some of these. I like this one because it has a truck with a hay bale, hay bales in it, which is what you'd see around here completely. So I put that on here. I didn't, so I didn't make this, I bought this. And I put little, uh, some of the milk glass charms. And this is a piece from a wedding. Uh, it's like satin. I thought it's pretty on here, made a pocket. This is part of that paper, and I love this paper because it's just already kind of in a form of a a tag or a, a, whatever you wish. So I kind of like that. And um, oh, this I put this little heart on here. I like to. This is a beautiful. This is a, a gorgeous copper heart, and I picked these up at the Vintage Pearl, and I love them. Uh, I like to wear them with with uh, with this guy on a chain. So, I mean, just in case you want to, or leave them in your book, whatever you want. But I just love them. They're some of my favorite things. <laughs> it's the other side of that. Uh, so, and then she also likes, let's see, we in frame. Keep wanting to make sure I don't slide. This is part of a plant, old plant book I got. I liked it because it had this lady in there from the 60s. <laughs> uh, handmade paper, handmade paper. I didn't make it. This, oh, this is the paper I believe is from... I left it as a whole sheet just so you could feel it and enjoy it. But this is what I got from Rachel at Roxy Creations, and I believe this is from the late 1700s. And it's just the most amazing feeling paper. I have a little bit more of it, and I just love it. This is Eco Dye Paper from Rosemary Morris, who is the Rusty Peacock, I believe. Let's double check everything. Yep. Handmade paper. Then I made this little guy here, and I look, I, I, I put little, I sold little pictures off of Facebook of your family. I put it right there. And then here, do you remember your, <laughs> I put this tag in from your challenge about the, um, that I did of the altered book challenge that I was really terrible at, but I stuck this in there and I wrote down that it was from that last year. I thought you might like to have it, it might be kind of fun. Also another snippet here and some, I just want to put a lot of different textures. 
this bead, now let's see if you can see this right here, this blue bead, nope, you're out of frame. So this, where's the out? This blue bead that's right here on top of that. Um, I was brought back from a, uh, uh, one of my friend's daughters. And she's out of college now, but when she was in college, she went to Cambodia. And then she brought me back a ton of beads from Cambodia. And I thought I'd put one of these on here for you. So that was from my friend who went to Cambodia. So that's a Cambodia bead. <laughs> okay, more of a fun paper. Just for some reason, this paper is, I have it written some, it's on the other side maybe. This was from a ledger. And for some reason, they glued on top of it newspaper articles and stuff. So you can probably see some of it. The other side, it'll have the date. I can't remember the exact date, but we'll find out. But it's interesting. I thought, well, that's interesting. I don't know what it says. This is another one of those, um, look how cute that cottage is of the, like the other journaling card I made. And it's covered with some paper that's, um, it's, it's has a, pieces of, uh, it's not the normal ones I buy, it's a different one I had for years, and it, it has little pieces of plants in there. Here we go. This is a bag, something, I didn't put anything in here, so I just have a clip, I don't really want to try and open it. <laughs> it's probably going to be a long video anyway. This ended up be, to be way more fragile than I thought. I noticed it started to tear, so I guess you could always just take it out if it tears too much, but I put a bunch of, of the vintage tape uh, that we learned. I think it was Rosemary taught that. And so I just put it on there to reinforce it. But it's a it's a letter. It has to do with a, I don't know if it came from a minister. I got a group of old letters recently. So it's uh, has a date up here, 1949. But I like the color of the paper. So I thought you would like that. This is an old ledger page. Uh, I got this out of um, I have to put it, tuck it in somewhere. I just found it right now. So to me, it's art. It tells you about where it is from 1920, but it was out of the Reader's Digest. So I thought that was kind of cute. I mean, it's not a big, big time artist, but I thought you'd like it. Okay, so yeah, so this is this page, and it's, uh, I know I have dates here somewhere, July 2nd, but somewhere, down. I hope I'm not getting my head in here. <laughs> I'm going to turn it up just a little bit for me. Oh, 1839. So uh, this paper is 1839. But this is the one that had all these strange uh, pieces of newspaper there. So handmade paper. Mary, Mary, uh, Rosemary Morris's paper. These are a couple of the hand, let's see if you can see it, a couple of the Hand, uh, hand cut abalone buttons. I love that. And then another, just a strange little tee here. I don't know where. I, I got this from one of Johnny Sales, and I, I don't know if it's copper or what, but um, I don't know. There it is. No explanation. <laughs> Here's that paper. Look at this. Oh man, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? Okay, is the other side of that floral, little floral book. Some of that oriental garden paper. And then I have hand crocheted bit right he down here with another bit of uh, ruffly bit. And uh, I put some beads on here, just more. This is, a, this is an amber glass. Can you see it? It's an amber glass uh, leaf. In here, this is a flip. I, I bought... Um, no, I made this one. I made it. Uh, and I made a um, bookmark. So that just goes in here like this. Pretty, pretty. And then this is a fabric flip I made. It has a bottle cap here from a dairy, which I thought was cute because, you know, there's tons of dairies right here where I am. And then these are little ribbon holders, and I hammered it. Um, so that it made it all kind of, I don't know if you probably can't tell, but it's a technique in jewelry making where you can hammer. So I hammered it together and just put some snippets there. And then the flip and a ruffled fabric ruffle here. Backside of that Grand Hotel. Look at that. I really like that paper. 
Um, this is a really old 1927, but it's a piece of, I don't know, some kind of a, feels like, I don't want to say onion skin, feels like, you know, that kind of typewriter paper or something. It's really thin. Oh, so I was so upset because I had this, I think it came, it came in Rosemary Morris when I bought from the Rusty, uh, Rusty uh, Peacock. It had a whole sheet of this really crunchy paper and I forgot to put it in. My room gets to be such a mess when I make things. I was so bummed out because I wanted it to crunch. So I stuck it in here and made a pocket out of it. So, you know, kind of crunches. Not as much as if it was a whole page that could turn, but. So I made a little pocket here and this is all eco dyed or eco printed. And then another one of those cute pages from the Grand Hotel, I think it's called. So it already looks like it's a, journaling card and then I put another one of these in took from your <laughs> this is my attempt at the paper uh, on on that book uh, the altar book challenge so I thought I'd give you this one too uh, so I hope that gives you a little laugh no it's not the greatest but it was fun this is from a book of architectural th type things so I put it on here. The reason I liked this was it had this really, look at this gate. I would really like to have a secret garden with this gate on it. <laughs> but put a piece of uh, Nick the Booksmith's hand dyed paper or hand marble paper that I won that grouping. It's just, it's really bright. I ordered, the group I got was really bright oranges, blues, and greens. So I just stuck. I thought you were going to play with it. This is a page from a book from the Carnegie again. And look at it has a lighthouse. I love the artwork on it. So, and this is the other page, the other side. There was nothing on this side. They had a big margin. So I just glued this together and sewed around it because this is pretty right here. Old music paper. Um, more, more of the, more of the, more of the structural stuff that I hope you like. Italy, it looks like again. Okay, so I tried really hard to get your birthday, and I don't think I did, because I think your birthday was February. It was a close to the it was a close to the 18th. Might have been the 16th. I looked it up on Facebook. <laughs> but I did get February. So this is a group of the first day of issue co covers or cards, and that's what this paper is that it's supposed to be on. And so I put it down here. I had a couple to choose from that they weren't your date. I wanted it to be your date, so sadly I couldn't get that. But it has the blue on it, and it, apparently there was some Olympics. Oh, this is 1960. What were the Olympics? Was it? I'm not sure. Olympic Valley, California. Must have been in California, huh? I was just a little girl then, so. So I put it here for you, made a, made a pocket. I also made a, this is art, <laughs> but it's, uh, it's called Pandora's Box. Of course, my name's Pandora, and uh, I put it as Pandora's Box by John William Waterhouse in um, 1896. So I stuck that in there for fun. Don't want you to forget me. <laughs> put a couple uh, pockets here. There's one here and one here. I used that paper that had all that interesting, um, I don't know, some kind of architectural stuff on it. And then over here, the same thing. Other side door knockers and stuff. So, and so I like this here. So I want to use this out of the, and this is Nick the Booksmith's paper I cut out into flowers and butterflies and put them on here. I hope I make sense. I always think I don't. It's the other side of that envelope. So I just made two little tucks out of it. It's a cigarette card and a, and one of these cute. This is that paper, the, um, uh, Oriental Garden. I really like this paper, so it's, it's boss, as we would say. <laughs> Does anybody say that? Probably not. All right. Another bridge here. More more music. Oh, look at this art. This was part of the one of the. This book I got had a huge. They were huge pages from the Carnegie with lots of pretty art, and so I just went ahead and put this one in. Let's see. They had big margins like this. So I sewed around it and looks like they're pansies maybe or well then there looks like there's some kind of a 
pansies and that looks like what's that flower it looks like a those that's the they would grow in the orient or in like hawaii i forget what they're called over here i put a couple more pieces of nick the booksmith paper i don't have a lot of it left but i thought i would share it with you share the love right okay there we go other side of that paper, right? Then I did this. Now, I don't know why. I wanted to goof around with, this is a napkin that I put on here. This is the other side of some of that architectural paper. So I didn't put any place to write. I don't really know what to do with this, so I just put it in here. <laughs> I was thinking it could maybe be a pocket. I don't know. thought there's a lot of pockets in here. I was getting too full for this, so I just stuck it in here for interest. Do with as you see fit. Put it in one of your journals for sale. And that's the end. This is the other side of that of that card I think I showed already. Maybe I didn't. That's the other side of the uh, this card here that was the uh, Farmer's Almanac 1895. So that's the other. It was, it was a cover. It was all falling apart. So I just put it together like that. And this is my gift to you, Took. I hope you love it. I hope I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit, what do you call it? A little bit uh, nervous about the whole thing. No one's asked me to do this before. I don't know if my work is really up to speed, but I hope, I hope you love it. And of course, I'll post this after you get it. So bye.